Many of us dream of setting a world record. Who wouldn't want to break the record for blowing the world's biggest bubblegum bubble? Or owning the largest collection of traffic cones? But some record holders never planned or wanted the record they now hold, and few will seek to dethrone them as these records can put your lives in danger. Some of these are unintentional, and people just made them while going on with their everyday lives. Here's a list of 10 crazy records that no one can beat, but before we get to that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Farthest Distance Thrown by a Tornado and Survived Matt Suter was a 19-year-old high school senior on March 12, 2006, when a storm rolled over his hometown of Fordland, Missouri. Suter was at his grandmother's mobile home that Sunday night with grandma and a disabled uncle. It got louder and louder, like 10 military jets coming right at us, he said. The trailer began to tip over and the walls began to collapse. Then, a lamp hit Suter in the head, knocking him out cold. As his grandma watched, Suter's limp body was sucked out into the maelstrom. It was an F2 tornado, and it carried Suter 398.37 meters, or 1,307 feet, the length of four football fields. He awoke in a field, alive and unharmed, except for a small scalp wound. Miraculously, his grandmother and uncle also survived the disintegration of their mobile home after being pinned to the ground by heavy furniture. Suter's record-breaking flight is not without precedent. Number 9. The Most Prolific Parents Guinness World Records cites a contemporary newspaper account of Fyodor Vasilev, an 18th century peasant from the Shuya district in Moscow. Fyodor and his two wives sired 22 sets of twins, 9 sets of triplets, and 4 sets of quadruplets. Vasilev was born around 1707 and began fathering Rugrats at the age of 18. Forty years later, he finally stopped. He said that all but two of his children survived infancy, a remarkable number for the time. And by the time he was interviewed at the ripe age of 75, 84 of his kids were still living. His fecundity was so extraordinary that he was sent to St. Petersburg to meet Empress Catherine II. And who was the most prolific mother? That would be Fyodor's first wife. No one seems to have bothered to discover her first name, which is a shame because she deserves far more accolades than her husband. She, after all, endured 27 pregnancies and 69 births. Number 8. The Heaviest Man It shouldn't surprise anyone that the heaviest man and woman ever recorded were both Americans. Of all the countries, the U.S. had the highest percentage of obesity, which was 39% in 2015. John Brower Minock hailed from Washington State, and at age 12, he weighed 135 kilograms. His weight increased steadily until he reached a peak weight of 635 kilograms in 1978. That March, he suffered a heart attack and respiratory failure, and 12 firemen were needed to transport him to University Hospital in Seattle. Once there, he was diagnosed with massive edema, and the doctor estimated that he carried 400 kilograms of accumulated fluid. He remained in the hospital for two years, lying on two beds lashed together. It required 13 people to roll him over. While in the hospital, Minock married a woman named Jeanette, and, because she weighed only 50 kilograms, they set the record for the biggest weight difference between spouses. He died in 1983 at the age of 41. Number 7. The Biggest Kidney Stones The lucky, or should we say unlucky, record holder for the largest stone was also from India, a 37-year-old Mumbai police constable named Vilas Guj. In February 2004, Guj had a stone surgically removed that was 13 centimeters across. Typically, stones are no bigger than 9 centimeters across, about the size of a baseball. This was huge and put the person's life in danger, but fortunately, didn't kill him. Number 6. Heaviest Woman Guinness gives the nod for the heaviest woman to Floridian Rosalie Bradford, 
who reached a peak weight of 544 kilograms. Bradford fought obesity all her life, but it wasn't until she married and had a child that her weight skyrocketed. She became so depressed that she tried to commit suicide with painkillers, but her weight was so great that the pills merely made her sleep for days. After being contacted by weight loss guru Richard Simmons, she started a diet and exercise program. At first, exercise consisted of clapping her hands, but in one year, she dropped 190 kilograms and eventually lost a total of 317 kilograms, a record weight loss for a woman. In 1992, she weighed under 136 kilograms and went to school, earned a degree in psychology, and began touring the country delivering motivational speeches. She died in 2006 at the age of 63. Number 5. Longest Time Spent on a Gurney in a Hospital Hallway Guinness created a new category when Tom Collins, a 40-year-old British man, reported that he had lain on a gurney for 77 hours and 30 minutes. Collins was a diabetic and caught a virus that sent him to Princess Margaret Hospital in Swindon, England, on Saturday, February 24, 2001. Told he would have to wait for a hospital bed, he was put on a gurney in a hallway parked outside the bathroom at 3 p.m. I developed a bad back, had no privacy, and had to rely on the nurses to bring me a drink because there was nowhere to rest a drug, he said. They finally found a room for him at 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday. Ironically, while Guinness was investigating Collins' claims, he fell ill again and returned to Princess Margaret. This time, he was left on a gurney for 60 hours. As for his record, he said, Unfortunately, it will probably be the sort of record that gets broken every day in NHS. He was referring to the National Health Service, Britain's government-run, public-funded healthcare system. Collins' prediction came true. In March 2013, 62-year-old Herbert Edwards was admitted for a suspected heart attack to Great Western Hospital, also in Swindon. He waited for a room on a gurney for six days, a total of 144 hours. He, however, will not break Collins' record because he was kept in a designated area instead of a hallway. In that same hospital, 41-year-old June Rogers waited 157 hours for a bed, 88 of them on a gurney. She will not break Collins' records either because her hours on a gurney were not consecutive. Number 4. Most Hand Amputations from the Same Arm some records are unlikely to be repeated, not only because nobody would want to break them, but because of the controversy the record holder generated. Clint Halam's three hand amputations is just such a record. Halam's first amputation occurred in 1984, while he was incarcerated in Christchurch's Rolston Prison for fraud in his native New Zealand. A circular saw cut off his right hand above the wrist. Surgeons reattached the limb, but it became infected and was amputated a second time in 1988. Ten years later, Halam was offered a chance to make a medical history as the recipient of the first hand transplant. He was flown to Lyons, France, and the hand of a deceased French motorcyclist was successfully grafted. Halam later said that he hated his new hand from the start. While recuperating, Halam fell for his French nurse and left his wife of 12 years and their children. Marty, the nurse, is the only good thing the surgeons gave me, he said. Apart from her, I gained nothing. Halam lost contact with his donors and stopped taking his anti-rejection medication. Inevitably, his body rejected the hand and it had to be amputated for a third time in 2001. The medical world and his French surgeon were bitter over the waste of the donor's hand. Halam asked for another transplant in 2002. To date, he has not received one. Number 3. Survive the Most Fatal Incidents in One Day Dasha, a 10-month-old pit bull mix living with her master in Clear Lake, California, had a really bad day on April 15, 2003. That morning, she jumped a fence to escape her yard and was subsequently hit by a pickup truck. Dasha was glassy-eyed and limp when the police arrived. Thinking the dog was fatally wounded, the cop shot Dasha in the head, just below her right eye, to put her out of her misery. Animal control arrived and put what they thought was a carcass in a plastic bag. 
They transported Dasha back to the dog pound and loaded her into a freezer. Two hours later, a worker opened the freezer to find Dasha sitting up, still in the bag. The officer's bullet had traveled along Dasha's skull, barely missing her brain, and had lodged in the skin under her jaw. She also suffered from hypothermia, but had no broken bones from the initial accident. The bullet fragments were removed, but she was left with some hearing loss in her right ear. For her triple death-defying feat, Guinness dubbed Dasha the luckiest dog in the world. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Giant Elastic Ball this was an attempt to make the biggest gigantic elastic ball bounce back to the highest point so the individual could achieve the record of the highest bounce back. Yes, it was a real attempt, but unfortunately, the ball didn't bounce back enough to create any record. But we're sure that throwing a ball that big from such a high place has to be the dumbest idea, but the guy wins a record for that. Number 1. Most Broken Bones Robert Craig Neville, also known as Evil Knievel, had logged 150 ramp-to-ramp -ramp motorcycle jumps over various obstacles. He crashed or had major mishaps during 18 of those jumps, and as a result, he suffered more than 433 fractures of 35 different bones, a world record. By far, his worst crash was on December 31st, 1967, when he tried to jump the fountains at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, a distance of 43 meters. He made it over the fountains, but came up short on the landing, tumbled over the motorcycle's handbars, and skidded across the parking lot. His upper leg and pelvis were crushed, and he fractured a hip, a wrist, both ankles, and received a concussion that put him in a coma for 29 days. A fall on a golf course resulted in a prosthetic hip, Neville fell twice in his own whirlpool, breaking ribs and a knee. He received a liver transplant in 1999 after alcohol killed his own. By the end of his life, he had a pump stapled to his abdomen that delivered morphine and synthetic heroin directly to his spine. He died on November 30th, 2007 of pulmonary fibrosis. That's our list of crazy records that no one would ever want to beat. Would you like to beat one of these records? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.